Welcome to a journey through the picturesque Amana colonies. Nestled in the heart of Iowa, these seven villages boast a rich heritage of handcrafted goods, from exquisite furniture to delectable food. Join us as we meet the skilled artisans behind these creations, sample the mouth-watering cuisine, and learn about the history of this remarkable society. Oh yeah, that's a good look for you. Now you need some later hosing. Get ready to immerse yourself in the beauty, craftsmanship, and culture of the Amana colonies. When you come to a shop that makes it right in front of you, there's nothing that beats it. No. Welcome back to Love Nesters. For those of you that are new here, we're Jeff and Debbie, and every week we provide you a new adventure idea. This week we are in Iowa. We are exploring the Amana colonies. Last night we stayed at an incredible hotel. We'll provide a full review of that at the end of this video, and we're gonna get today started with some breakfast. Thanks for being here. Welcome back to Love Masters. We are in Iowa at the Indigo Room at the Hotel Millwright. We are getting this day off to a good start with a hearty breakfast here in the Amana Colony. Amana Colony. I almost said Amish. They're not Amish. They're not Amish. What, what is fantastic about coming to, to the Amana Colonies? And it's the off season, so everything is incredibly reasonable. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here. This is amazing what you guys do. This store is just decorated just beautifully. So be sure and stop by the visitor center and you can also get some coffee at Edelweiss Coffee. Oh. Yes, we do. <laughs> there we go, a little oh, caramel wow. sample. Caramel sample. <laughs> when you come to a shop that makes it right in front of you, there's nothing that beats it. No. This is going to be my favorite store in the Amanda Colonies, I can tell already. Sea salt caramel samples. Mm. So yummy. And yet we're going to buy chocolate. We're going healthy here. So, we also take all the calories. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is what they look like when they're done. Apparently it takes three days to make what? the truffles. And that's one of the things that they're known for. So I went with a raspberry truffle since that's what we saw them making today. Oh my God. Oh, oh boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. I'm not gonna be able to eat this whole thing, but this is really yummy. The truffle, German for good. Fun fact. This is the dark chocolate truffle. This building was erected in 1856 as a general store 
and they had a residence on the second floor. But this is the Amana Coffee and Tea Company at the lower level of the general store. And hey, Jeffy, free samples. Okay, the first up is the Amana Mango. That's a tea? Yes. All right, give it a shot. Oh my goodness, it smells fantastic. It is really good. Oh my goodness, that is great tea. Huh? So this is a Swiss chocolate orange and it's decaf. I love decaf and they never have fun flavors. It almost tastes like tea. It has got such a fun orange note to it. What aisles the later frozen down to? The International Christmas Market is not just open at Christmas time and it is a lovely place to visit. Oh wow, this just goes on and on and it's beautiful. Doesn't matter what time of year you come, the Christmas room will get you in the Christmas spirit. It's absolutely magical in here. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. A little sleep sack with the Grinch. Oh. Hey, welcome back to Love Nesters. We are in Iowa. There is lots of shopping to do here in the Amana colonies, and so much of it is made right here. If you're enjoying our videos, we'd sure appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. It helps us know that we're providing the right kind of content and helps other people find the channel. Thanks for being here. There's not a lot of street parking in Amana, but it does give it a very walkable area. All right, there's a workshop viewing gallery in here. We're gonna see them make furniture. Oh wow, look at these, these are beautiful. Well, here's a love nester tip for everyone. We're working on the don't forget the patience and pour in much understanding. Everything's made right here. Absolutely world-class furniture. Incredible. The craftsmanship is just incredible. So when you come here, visitors are welcome to watch the craftsmen at work. I've been doing woodworking for pretty much my whole life. So I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it looks like you're good at it. You, you have all your digits. I, see. I, have, I have my good days. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm building four of these uh, rubo benches for Ben's Crafted. It's three people doing it. So wood prep gets all my material to me. And then I work with the CNC guy. He he does the mortises and and like the the logo and stuff, and, and also like inside of this and stuff. Sure. Um, and then I I do all the final joinery and the rest of the projects. Oh, cool. workbench. I mean, this could be in your yeah. living room. This is so beautiful. So it's got, it's, it's dovetailed 
The front rail is dovetailed in. Yep. There should be like a hair heirloom piece that's in your living room, like a yeah. bar kind of thing. Not well, a. It's an heirloom bench. It's an heirloom bench. So. It is incredible. What do they sell something like this for? Do you know? I think it's like five and a half to six thousand dollars. Gee. So to be clear, my time is only part of the picture because yeah. there's two other people. Yeah. And I'm doing three at a time. It takes me about 25 hours to make one of these. Most things do not open until 10 o'clock, but the bakery is open. The Amana Colonies is made up of seven different cities, uh, six of which actually have things that you can see. One of them is just where people live. I believe that's East Amana. So we're going to do the loop and uh, check out what else is available. Okay, so if you come in the off season, some of the museums are only open on the weekend, but you can download this Amana Colonies app and that's gonna provide both a driving and a walking tour. We're gonna to go ahead and do the historic driving tour, and then you get to pick which town do you wanna to go to, and it's going to walk you through what you are seeing. So we are just finished Amana, we're gonna head into Middle Amana. Middle Amana is home to the Whirlpool Corporation and several historical buildings that can be toured. The churches in the Amana colonies are simple structures built of brick and stone. There are no stained glass or steeples. At one time, worship services were attended 11 times a week. At one time, there were 50 communal kitchens providing three meals and two snacks a day. No one had kitchens in their own homes. Now there is one left that can be toured. If you prefer, audio tours are available at many of the sites throughout the Amana colonies. This is the High Amana General Store. And this would be a great place to stop in. Everything in here is original, but unfortunately it is not open during the week in the off season. The Amana colonies were founded in the 1800s when a group immigrated from Germany seeking religious freedom. They eventually settled in Iowa, founding seven villages that led a communal life with farming and the production of wool and calico supporting the community. Well-crafted products are the hallmark of the Amanas. Craftsmen took pride in their work as a show of their faith and community spirit. Look at all these quilts they have for sale. The Amana colonies were founded on religious freedom with each community having their own centrally located church. Okay guys, check this out. 
So this is the Hotel Millwright, king size room. A lot of room to spread out in here. So this bathroom is huge. Great big walk-in shower. Look at these sewing machines. That is so cool. That's a sweet little sitting area. So they have a fitness center. So we're hoping to get a workout in. Do the elliptical, you can lift some weights, maybe ride the bike. This hotel is just beautifully appointed. Wow, this loom was purchased in the early 1970s and still works today. Yeah, the throws that are on the ends of our beds are all made right here in the Amana colonies. We are here with Corey Woodbury, the general manager of Hotel Millwright. Millwright! Yes, sir. After the third take, we finally got it. Yes, sir. Well, it's, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for hosting us today. What a historical place. What a great place to stay right here in Amana colonies. So next up you're in Iowa, this is the Manic Colony. You repurposed a building to create a fantastic hotel. So yeah, how the hotel came to be is um, the woolen mill, which has been here since the 1800s. Um, as technology advanced, they did not need the whole purpose of the building anymore. So uh, they did sit here for a while, a couple of uh, years. Um, 20 to be exact, um, and they thought, how can we re you know, purpose this building and bring also history and uniqueness back to Amana? Um, and that's what they did. They made a 65 uh, room hotel and it um, brought the historic in with the modernization. It's just been a great blend, and uh, I'm so happy to be here. It's a perfect blend. We're, we're so glad that we got to stay here. Uh, again, the people have been incredible, it's a perfect location, and one of the things that we love is coming to a place kind of quote in the off season, and this is a great place to be in the off season. Uh, if you want a quiet stay, nice stay, get away, that's a great time to come. Great place um, to also, the price point is pretty good at that time as well, so. Price point is fantastic, oh my god. Well, Corey, thank you so much. Really appreciate the behind the scenes tour and all the information. Absolutely. What a great place to be. Thank you guys for coming down. It's been a joy. Thank Thanks you. for being Have here. A great hey, welcome back. We are in Iowa at the Hotel Millwright. This is a great place to stay. It's a kind of a boutique hotel and it's right in the Amana colony. So you don't have to travel far to take advantage of all the neat things that this area has to offer. The staff has been super friendly, the food was great, and the hotel room is fantastic as well. The trifecta of a great experience. Thanks for joining us on our adventures today. Thanks for being here. Join us in the next video when we get a private tour of an incredible car museum hidden away in Iowa. <laughs> kind of reminds me of you. <laughs>